Welcome to RN Medical Lectures. Today we are going to talk about how to solve ABGs, that is arterial blood gases, and what is partially or fully compensated ABGs. At the end of the video, you would be able to tell whether the patient has respiratory acidosis or respiratory alkalosis, metabolic acidosis or metabolic alkalosis, and what is partially or a fully compensated ABGs. Before starting, first thing you should know is the normal values. The normal value for the pH is in the range of 7.35 to 7.45. Anything below than 7.35 is acidic, while anything above than 7.45 is alkalotic. HCO3 represents the metabolic component and its normal value is in the range of 22 to 26. Below 22, acidic, while above than 26, alkalotic. CO2 represents the respiratory component. Its value is in the range of 35 to 45. CO2 is acidic itself. So if its value would increase from its normal range, that is from more than 45, it would be acidic. And if its value falls less than 35, it would be alkalotic. So now let's start solving some examples. Example number one, here the pH is 7.25. CO2 is 55 and HCO3 is 22. First, put these values in the right column. pH is 7.25. As we can see from the normal values, it is in the acidic range. So we are going to write this in the acidic column. CO2, 55. As we said earlier, CO2 is in acidic itself. Its normal value is between 35 to 45. So if it would increase from 45 it would be in acidic. So writing this in the acidic column. HCO3 is 22 which is in the normal range so putting this below the normal range. So now we can see the pH is acidic so it is acidosis and CO2 component is in the acidic group so this is respiratory acidosis. Example number two. Here the pH is 7.25, CO2 40 and HCO3 18 pH is in the acidic range, CO2 is normal and HCO3 is in the acidic range. So here the pH is acidic, so we know this, uh, this is acidosis. And metabolic is in the acidic component, so this is metabolic acidosis. Example number 3, here the pH is 7.25, CO2 55 and HCO3 is 28. Putting them in the right columns, pH is acidic, CO2 acidic, and HCO3 is alkalotic. So pH and CO2 falls in the same group as we have discussed earlier, so this is respiratory acidosis. But here the HCO3 value has been raised from the normal range and it's 28. It's falling in the alkalotic group, so it means that a compensation has been done but it has failed to bring back the pH to the normal range. So this is a partial, partially compensated respiratory acidosis. We would have called this a fully compensated respiratory acidosis if the pH was in the normal range. So it has failed to bring back the pH to the normal range, but a compensation has been done. So this is a partially compensated respiratory acidosis. Coming to example number four, here the pH value is 7.37, CO2 is 18 and HCO3 is 18. Well, placing them in column, all of them are placed in different columns. So for this kind of an example, consider the value of the pH 7.40. Below 7.40 is considered acidic and above than 7.40 is considered alkalotic. So here the pH lies in the acidic range, that is 7.37. It's near the acidic range, so this is acidic. The first thing we know that this is acidosis. Now we would see which component lies in the acidic column, and that is HCO3, the metabolic component. So this is metabolic acidosis, and it has brought the pH to the normal range, so this is a fully compensated metabolic acidosis. Example number five, pH is 7.43, CO2 is 18, and HCO3 is 18. All of them lies in the different group. So we would apply the same rule. Now here the pH is 7.43, which is near the alkalotic range. So 
we know that this is alkalosis which value lies in the alkalotic group and that is respiratory so this is respiratory alkalosis and it has brought the ph fully to the normal value so this is a fully compensated respiratory alkalosis thank you for watching please do consider subscribing our channel and watch our other videos